Hey, it's Darren Cabral. I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital advertising agency that helps businesses build their brand, generate more leads, and get more sales online. On today's video, we're going to be talking about why service companies suck at digital advertising, but what they can do about it to get a lot better. So I don't mean to be mean. I'm not trying to be harsh. What I'm trying to do is actually help because a lot of service companies, especially B2C service companies, um, you know, service companies that are actually focused on consumer markets and selling directly to customers, plumbers or cleaning companies or painting companies, they tend to be the weakest when it comes to digital and social. They don't have a lot going on. If you're lucky, they have a Facebook page or Instagram page with a few posts, maybe some really cheesy graphic design stuff, but that's the extent of it because fair enough, they're focused on running their business. They're focused on servicing their customers and maybe they don't have the time or the resources or maybe they didn't care or don't know why they should care to actually invest a little heavier in digital. But I'm gonna tell you why they should and how we can fix this stigma so we can actually help service companies get better results, get more customers, get more leads and actually leverage this amazing tool called digital advertising. The main reason why a lot of these service companies, you know, suck, I'm not trying to be mean, it just sounds better when I say it because you're actually paying attention now, but the main reason why these service companies suck at digital advertising is they haven't really given it the time. They haven't really given it the thought. They've not really, you know, invested in trying to figure out how it can help their business. So I'm going to do that for you now to kind of try to illustrate this. If you're a service company and you're trying to sell any service, it could be window cleaning, it could be landscaping, it can be literally anything you can imagine. You're trying to sell a service to a customer. You need a couple things because the problem with the service industry, it's hyper competitive. Whatever you're doing, there's 100, 200, 300 other people doing it in your city. So if you're in Toronto, Canada, which is where, you know, near where we are, and you clean windows, you're a window cleaning company, there's gonna be 100 other, 200 other window cleaning companies, right? So what differentiates you so you're not just a commodity? What makes you the window company that a customer should choose? Well, whatever that is, that's great. You gotta build into your business, you need to know your value proposition, but how do the customers know that? How do they know that without getting a direct referral or you telling them? The only other way someone could know what makes you unique, why you're better than the competition, why they should buy your service and buy from you is if you tell them. And you can't run around town telling everybody one at a time. You need a system that gets your brand in front of those customers consistently every day. They're seeing your brand, they're seeing your ads, they're seeing what you're doing. They understand your value proposition, who you are maybe as the founder and the owner, what you guys do that's unique, what's different about you in the competition. That stuff all can be done in advertising at scale in one city or in 20 cities or in 20 countries. And that's the beautiful thing about digital is it's completely scalable. You don't have to just do it in one place. So if you're a service company, that's the first value. The second value, you rely on sales, on keeping your pipeline full. When you don't have an advertising system, selling is completely randomized, right? You don't know where your next lead's gonna come from. You're just waiting for the phone to ring. Someone's gonna find you. Maybe they Google you. Maybe they got a referral, but there's no consistency. Are you gonna get 10 leads today? Are you gonna get no leads today? It's hard to scale a business when there's uncertainty. And that's why here at Suit Social, we always say one of our missions is to eliminate uncertainty and fuel your growth. What we mean by that is building an advertising system allows you to predict where your next customer is actually gonna come from. When you build a nice lead gen advertising funnel and you get this thing cranking, you get it optimized and you're spending a certain amount of money, you know how many leads you're gonna get out of that and you know how many of those leads you're actually gonna close, right? So you can say, hey, we're spending you know, five grand a month on advertising and we're gonna get 500 leads and of those 500, we're gonna close 50. You can predict that and you can grow your business to meet that demand and then next month you can spend more and increase the demand and grow and then increase that spend, increase demand and grow. And it's a pattern, right? And so there's a lot of value if you're trying to kind of understand where I'm going with this, like between the branding and the awareness and getting your unique value proposition in front of the customer and then all the way to building predictability into your business, this advertising is critical. So how exactly do you do this? So if you're thinking now, okay, I've sold, it makes sense. Maybe I should be thinking about social media, digital advertising, how I get my message out there. So it, it starts with a couple things. You have organic and you have paid media. These are the two kind of components of every social media and digital strategy. On one hand, your paid advertising is what you're gonna be able to basically pay to get in front of the right customer. You're gonna be able to spend money, get in front of customers, scale really quickly, get a lot of attention, and attract a lot of new customers into your brand. Your organic is, you know, you're posting on Instagram, it's your social media strategy, it's the content you're pumping out. That's gonna be the stuff that's really important because once people discover you, 
you know, they find out, you know, who is ABC Cleaning Company. Once they see you in an ad and they figure you out, they're gonna start Googling you. They're gonna check your Instagram, they're gonna check your Facebook, they're gonna check your social, and what they find there is gonna be really important. So that's where organic comes in, making sure that you're posting consistent content, high quality content, testimonials, client projects, before and afters, things that will show customers when they actually search you up that you're legit. And the things you say you're gonna do in your advertising, you know, your value proposition, what you say makes you better than everybody else, you're actually delivering. And they're gonna to wanna to see that in your content. They're gonna to wanna to understand that, they're gonna to wanna to follow you. And so first it comes up with having a good organic strategy, making sure you're putting out content, making sure you're putting out things that are relevant to your customer base. And then the advertising side, deciding what channels actually make sense for your business. For most businesses, especially service companies, Facebook ads and Google ads are the holy grail. Those are gonna get you the fastest and the best results, but, We've seen some niche service companies, depending on what you're doing and what you're targeting, TikTok ads, they actually have a lead ads platform where you can do lead gen ads on TikTok have actually been really effective. I know of a concrete company that landed a six figure concrete contract through a TikTok ad. So there's a lot of room in that area too, but you gotta figure out what advertising platform makes sense. If this is you and you're like, okay, this is a lot. What the hell is this guy saying? It makes sense, I like it. I, well, I'm not doing this. How do I get it started? I can't do this right now. I'm busy, I don't have time. You have two options. A, you can do it yourself, which you probably don't wanna do. B, you can find a team member that's experienced in marketing and you can have a sit down with them and basically say, listen, I wanna start running digital advertising campaigns. We wanna get some exposure, get some paid traffic, and I wanna start building out our social media. How can we do that? And you can let them figure that out. Trial and error, they'll do their research, they'll come back to you. The third option, you could hire an agency like us. And of course I'm gonna say that I'm an agency, right? But you could hire an agency like us and we would come in, sit down with you, figure out everything that we need to know about your business, where you wanna go, your goals, what makes it unique. And we'll build an entire paid and organic advertising strategy to help you fulfill that, get in front of the right customers, make the right offers, and we'll build you the entire engine. And we can either hand it off for your team or yourself to manage, or we can keep managing it for you. But that's pretty much your three options. So hopefully that helps. If you're a service company, we're gonna improve that marketing. We're gonna help you level up, help you get to the next level. Don't be one of those service companies that sucks at social media digital advertising. I'll see you in the next episode.